Hello, I'm Dr. Alicia Fry with the CDC Influenza Division. This video is intended for pregnant women and children as well as their health care providers. Today, I'll provide answers to several common questions about flu vaccines. I would like to begin with the question, should I get a flu vaccine if I'm pregnant? The answer, which I would like to emphasize, is yes. Pregnancy lowers your body's defenses, making you more vulnerable to serious flu complications that can lead to hospitalization or even death. This risk for more serious complication also extends at least two weeks postpartum, regardless of pregnancy outcome. Getting a flu shot protects pregnant women from getting the flu, and it protects their babies too. Studies show that getting a flu shot while pregnant can decrease your baby's chance of getting the flu for up to six months after birth. Because infants younger than six months of age are too young to be vaccinated, vaccinating mothers in close contacts is the best way to protect them. Flu shots are safe for both pregnant women and their unborn babies. Note that pregnant women are recommended to receive a flu shot, not the nasal spray vaccine. As an alternative to the regular flu shot, pregnant women also can receive the intradermal flu shot, which is FDA licensed for use in adults 18 through 64 years of age. The intradermal flu shot uses a needle that is 90% smaller than the regular flu shot, and it is injected into the skin instead of the muscle. The next question is, when should I get the flu shot if I'm pregnant? And is it safe to get it while I'm breastfeeding? The flu shot can be given during any trimester of pregnancy, and it is safe for women who are currently breastfeeding or planning to breastfeed their child. Women who are not pregnant, but who are also breastfeeding, also may receive the nasal spray flu vaccine. The next question is, why are pregnant women at higher risk for serious flu-related complications? Changes in the immune system, which impact your ability to fight disease, cardiac system, which involves your heart and blood circulation, and pulmonary system, which pertains to your lungs during pregnancy, make pregnant women more prone to serious illness from the flu. This is why it's so important for pregnant women to get vaccinated against influenza. The next few questions involve the flu vaccine for children. We'll start with the question, why should my child get a flu vaccine? Flu is a serious disease, and this remains true for children of all ages. Every year in the United States, even healthy children are hospitalized or die from flu complications. In the United States, each year, an average of 20,000 children younger than five years old are hospitalized because of flu complications. Children younger than five years old, and especially those younger than age two, are at higher risk of serious flu complications, including hospitalization and death, compared to older children. This risk of serious illness is highest among children younger than six months of age. CDC recommends vaccination for all children six months through 18 years of age. Vaccination is especially important for protecting children with asthma, diabetes type 1 and 2, and other long-term health conditions because they are at increased risk for serious complications from flu. Children with long-term medical conditions like these are more likely to be hospitalized with flu-related complications than children who are otherwise healthy. If you live with or care for a child at high risk for serious complications from flu, both you and your child should get vaccinated. Be sure to let the doctor know if your child has an allergy to eggs or any health conditions like asthma, heart or lung conditions, neurologic conditions, or other medical problems. The next question is, what if my child is too young for a flu vaccine? Infants younger than six months old are too young to be vaccinated, but you can protect them by getting yourself, other children, and family members in the household and other close contacts vaccinated. This will help prevent spreading the virus to infants. The next question is, should my child get the flu shot or the nasal spray vaccine? Although the influenza vaccine is available in the form of a shot or a nasal spray, there are some differences in the groups recommended for each. 
flu shots are FDA licensed for use in people six months of age or older, including pregnant women. The nasal spray vaccine, also known as the live attenuated influenza vaccine, or LAIV, is FDA licensed for healthy people two through 49 years of age who are not pregnant. The term healthy is used to indicate that this vaccine is not recommended for use in people with asthma, heart disease, diabetes, or other long-term medical conditions. If your child is healthy and two years of age or older, they can get either a flu shot or the nasal spray vaccine. The absence of a needle with the nasal spray vaccine may make it more appealing for your child. Both flu shots and the nasal spray vaccine have been shown to be effective. If your child is younger than two years of age or is any age with a long-term medical condition or a history of wheezing, they should get the flu shot and not the nasal spray vaccine. This concludes the CDC video on answers to common questions about the flu vaccine for pregnant women and children. Thank you for watching. For more information related to flu and the flu vaccine, please visit the CDC flu webpage at www.cdc.gov forward slash flu.